Hey everyone, DJ Ron Messi from Anime Jam Session. We're here Saturday, uh, September, last weekend of the month here at AWA. My first AWA here having a good time. Today we have a special guest for the show. The one and only multi-talented, soon to be multi-record platinum DJ Janai. How's it going, Ron? Good. Doing good, man. How's it going with you? Oh man, it's been great. I had a very good con. I've been liking it so far. One thing about AWA, tons of southern hospitality. So if you're tired of all the nasty attitudes and cons up in the north, come on down here. It's all good. There you go. Yeah. So tell me, Jai, how did you get into all of this? Um, actually, by accident. Yeah. Um, first off, uh, I'm more like into producing. The bad part is that a lot of DJs don't like anime songs and stuff. So I'm like, no one's going to play my music. I might as well just learn how to DJ. That's how it started. Yeah, how long did that take you? Um, like, I was, I started off in 2000. Yeah. So, I, I didn't have that much money at the time, so I just bought, like, some, some ghetto thing from, like, a Gemini mix um, program, like $400. It was, like, two CDs, like, really, really low-budget CDs and a really low-budget mixer. Started learning on that, and then just, it just went from there. So, you make it sound like as if you don't need all this high-tech, fancy equipment to be a DJ. You just something simple and go off for that. Start off on that first, yeah. and then eventually, if you do want to continue on, then go for the higher, um, higher quality gear. Yeah. What is your preference when, you, when you're on, when you're out there spinning? Like, do you I'm prefer spinning. like dual, dual iPad, iPods, iPads, or just old school with the records? I do a bit of both. I have. Um, uh, right now, currently, uh, Techniques 1200s, turntables, uh, mixer, uh, stand mixer, and uh, I'm using a Serato for my DJing. Uh, for, but for this gig, since I had to fly out here, I'm using a smaller rig, which is uh, it consists of a, a laptop and a MIDI controller. That sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been at this game? Well, I'm pushing 13 years now. That's awesome. Yeah, as, or, <laughs> like, as an anime convention DJ. So 13 years, that's a long time. Yeah, because yeah. I remember like starting out going to these cons, there was a lot of anime music uh, remixes out there at the dances, and eventually it just kind of transitioned to more club scene, underground, pop techno. Mm -hmm. And then like maybe if the DJ came on, another one would come on, about 10, 15 music uh, minutes of like anime stuff, popular tracks, maybe some stuff from DDR, you know, yeah. something like that. So you prefer going from just straight up anime from start to finish. Mm -hmm. To basically anime, happy hardcore, put them together. That's me. Yeah, I definitely like that. Um, yeah. Tell me, is there any like what if, like tracks have you worked on? Is there one that's like your absolute favorite that you made? Oh, absolute favorite. Oh, well, you put me on the spot there. Okay. All right, if it's like your absolute um, like one of your favorites. One of my favorites yeah. right now, uh, it would have to be Ghost in the Shell, uh, standalone complex remix I made about two thousand four. Uh, got a lot of hits uh, with an anime music video that were done like maybe by seven, eight, nine AMV creators um, around the world. Uh, you can find it on YouTube. I think it's uh, it's uh, Inner Universe Remix by Janai. Just look that up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember you telling me there was some song from Helsing that you always wanted to do, but you just couldn't pull it off just right. Yeah. yeah. I actually like the Shine. Yes, that's yeah, that's what I love. Yeah, Shine. That was a, a very tough song, but I love it. Mr. Big is awesome. Yeah. There you go. Cool. So, by the way, tell everybody where you're from. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. That's what's up. Yeah. So, <laughs> flew out here 7 in the morning, got here like 5 p.m. at night. Yeah. Thursday or Friday? Thursday. That's what's up. At least you got out here compared to the issues that I had. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I don't think I ever want to do that again, you know? The Atlanta yeah. is wild. I know, I know. See, one thing I'm liking about this con, everything is just like right here. Mm -hmm. It's what I prefer. So having to like travel down to the convention center and the heat and something like Otakon or yeah. yeah, other conventions like that. Um, what besides? Um, let's see. What cons have you done? Um, if you DJ for? I've also DJ. I started out at Fanime Con. I've done them for uh, 2002, 2003. And 2005, I also done OniCon, um, their first year. Also done San Japan, their first year. Uh, recently, uh, under a different name, mm -hmm. Sigma Star. Um, he's more like trance and stuff. I go under that name. Uh, I, I did DEFCON 
this year as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely nice. under S Sigma Star. Yeah, and um, Anime Vegas. I also started their uh, convention as well. Uh, their uh, dance. Okay. Mm -hmm. So pretty much Sigma Star is for different types of music for mm -hmm. like a different crowd. You know? It's like uh, Tiesto meets anime. Okay. Even I even play uh, remixes of Vocaloid under that name as well. Yeah, I've heard a couple of them that you made that are really good. Oh, great, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Like I said, my personal favorite is the Angel Eyes Van Halen remix. That's like oh, my, really? that's my personal favorite. Wow. Is uh, I don't know. Just one day I was just listening to you know 80s station, and then for some reason Jump sounds familiar with uh, Angel Eyes uh, by oh shoot what was that one group? Forgot that. Heart Sales. Heart Sales. There you yes. go. Yeah, Heart Sales. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, this sounds familiar. That, oh, that synth, it's jump. Oh, I, I gotta put them together. So that that went on for a little bit when I was putting like stuff from the eighties with uh, J pop or anime uh, songs of now. That's pretty good. So tell mm -hmm. me about this giant boombox of death that you carry that you tend to carry with you. Oh, that yeah, no, that was a that was a long, long thing. Um, I, that started off around AX. When I was there, I, I've never, I never spun over there. I, I just only go as an attendee. It's really too big. Yeah, and and people bring actually bring boom boxes to the West Coast conventions. Something different. Not a whole lot out here, but over there in um, the West Coast conventions, you, you see a lot of people just dancing, having a good time, socializing. You know, playing music. It's it's fun. I've been doing that. And, you know, just going mm. to cons, bringing my boom box. But yeah. Next thing you know, you just set up your boombox, you have like your own mini um, dance party going on right there. <laughs> yeah, there, dance like, party, you know, yeah. Like, next thing you look up, why is the one at the radio? We over here, son! <laughs> <laughs> We've already danced our butts off already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Um, um, yeah. So how many cons have you, have you hit so, have you done so far? Oh my goodness. Uh, for this year? Uh, all together, you know. All together? Uh, most likely you've done more. Probably. Uh, DJing-wise, yeah. gigs and stuff? Mm -hmm. Just let me think like... 30, 35, around there. Yeah, I mean, most of the time it's either just going as an attendee, mm -hmm. but I actually, there, there's conventions that just keep get, having me every year after year. It's a little convention called Anna Jam in Fresno, California. They've had me every, like since 07, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so like, um, like six years already. Wow. Yeah, they, I love them. They're, they're really cool people and they love me, so I go, I go to every year. Hard. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, where does the name Jedi come from? El Hazard, one of my favorite animes. Yeah, he's actually the bad guy <laughs> in that show. Um, but honestly, he keeps saying that everything he does is pure evil genius. I, that's basically what I go with, you know, something pure evil genius. Um, so saying that uh, I live up to when I'm making songs on my computer and then putting them on a digital file so I can DJ them live. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. How and how often do you do your live shows? Uh, for uh, live shows. Yeah. Like, uh, as in, um, well, when I'm DJing at conventions. Oh no! If you're like like doing a stream or something like that. Oh, streams. Yeah. Okay. Um, unfor I used to do them, but unfortunately, not the moment because internet is not the the greatest in Las Vegas. So it's usually pre-recorded on uh, another website or on another anime. It's all anime music. Um, uh, uh, website that uh, Ad Extreme Anime Radio. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and I got a show called The Gin Fluids. It's basically a one-hour mix um, show. Just anything I want. Even even uh, I'll play like R and B stuff sometimes on there too. Yeah, cause I remember I listened to one of your. Um, I think it was Unmixed. Yeah, that was really good. Unmixed. Yeah. Yeah. It was just straight, just unmixed songs, um, and just. You know, seem to seem um, beat match them uh, for an hour, and that that was pretty cool. And I also listened to one of your um, anime Vegas remixes. Yes, that was pretty cool. You know. Mm hmm. Um, where do you see yourself after a couple of years? You know, like two, three years from now, going on, still like in the game, or kind of like you know, I'm gonna step back. I would like to teach people. Um, you know, because a lot of when I started doing this thing. Um, there wasn't really that many like people really thinking that I could make it so mm -hmm. far. Thirteen years later, here I am still, and everybody else that were my mentors already retired. Who um, was your mentor? Um, it was a guy named DJ Socket mm. of the S and M uh, group uh, in Fanime Khan. 
think uh, 1999, 2000, up to like 2005, 2006, I don't remember. Mm. Um, another DJ, DJ Mod. Um, he, he was another mentor of mine. Uh, you might know this person from the DDR um, era, DJ Eight Ball. Heard of it, yeah. DJ Eight Ball. Um, not only is he a um, um, very, very well known DDR um, player for the time, he was also an underground um, DMC champion, USA champion for uh, DJing, nice. battle DJing as well. He, he, yeah, he's actually uh, a, a big uh, inspiration for me as well. That's pretty cool. So, pretty much, what can you tell people? Like, you know, I can do this. I'm gonna do my thing. You know, what kind of words of wisdom can you tell them? You know, um, if you want to do this, be yourself. Find that. Find what makes you different from the rest of the DJs out there. Once you find that, and it works for you, hold on to that and make it your own. That's what I did. Yeah. Hey, that's what's up, man, John. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you. Anytime, you know. Yeah. For more information, check him out on Facebook.com. Where can we find you? Oh, at Facebook.com slash Katsuhi Gojinai. And uh, hopefully we have, I'll have my thing on the show notes because Katsuhi Gojinai is kind of long. Yeah. <laughs> do what you got to do, man. Yeah. Make a little hustle here and there, all right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's it. Take care. Okay, take care.